Hello everyone, this is Endgame Arts with another box and a breakdown of the demo. This is Gal Gun 2 for the PlayStation 4. This is the sequel to Gal Gun Double Piece, a game that I did cover a little back in the past. So I was quite eager to get into the second one when I heard it was getting released. To start off, there was an update to the game. It was around 130 megabytes big. It showed a few minor bug fixes and crash issues. But to state, I did play this entire game without updated. I didn't experience a single problem in the game. But updates can be fickle. Sometimes they happen, sometimes they don't. It just depends. So it stinks that Nander mean, has such problems like that. But I mean, let you know that I did play and I didn't have any issues. Nextly, uh, about Gal Gun. Gal Gun, the original one, was about an on rail kind of shooting style game where you follow a predetermined path and you just shoot the girls and then give them uh, points and you build up. Now, to start off, this is kind of goes a little bit different for direction. After doing some little research on it, I thought it was a little weird that the game didn't feel like an actual sequel to the original Gal Gun game. And when I looked into it, I realized that there was actually a Steam version called Gal Gun VR, which is the actually the exact same game as this one. It's just that one supports VR, and it all comes comes understanding. Once you play this game, you realize this game was really designed for VR. It's a lot of its functions and things like that in gameplay really have a focus for you to be using VR. And but it, that's fine and dandy by me, but it's kind of weird that this PlayStation 4 version does not support VR. So I see this is a big missed opportunity from the developers to not give it the PlayStation VR support. Now, what's different between this and the original one is that little things are a little bit more mainstream and not as uh, how do you say pretty as they were in the original one. The menus are kind of uh, plain as well as the navigation's a little plain. Everything just seems a little more designed for a VR interface where you're looking around with your head and stuff instead of using a co controller. As again, it just doesn't feel like a sequel because you actually feel like you're getting a, actually a little less from the sequel than you would if you got the original game. As why well as like you can't like do three dot model looking at the girls and stuff like that and check them out and read more about their bios and stuff like that. Now you can have now rendezvous with the girls and stuff like that and have a special time with them but it's really not that in depth either. Everything just feels like a slimmer down version from the original but the game is still relatively fun. I do like it's a uh, new direction instead of me being being forced to follow down this path they allow me now to shoot and point and aim where I want to go as well as everything seems a little bit more s solid out but I still would say the first one's a little bit better in overall experience and game now at the current moment you're seeing me doing a special thing where you can remodel your room and put new assets around and then change pillows put posters and all that stuff and new uh, knickknacks and stuff it's really cool to remodel your room but this game this part right here again would have more impact in VR to be able to look around your room and put up all these things would have been more enjoyable but the game still works pretty much the same way you uh, you hit the girls in a specific spot which gives them a ropia which causes them to fall down if you cannot uh, hit them in the right spot you give them a couple shots and they will uh, still fall down but you want to try to hit them in the right spot that way you can get bonus points as well as get rid of them quicker now there's still the evil versions of them with a the little demon they will be attached and you got to shoot them off and stuff like that and to be able to knock them down as well as they have a new like sucking power thing what's it's called the sweeper where now you can like uh, instead of just shooting off the little demons you can actually suck them up as a vacuum as well as you'll eventually get upgrades where you can actually just suck up the entire girl's clothing which is kind of interesting the original first one was rated E for everyone while this one is rated M for mature it's a little bit more provocative of Rocketive. I'm hoping a per perverted. Let's just use that word. And it's fine with me. I don't think that the overall game is better than the first one. You want my opinion from the right to the beginning? Just go for the first one. It's a little bit more enjoyable, a little bit more in depth. But I do want them to learn a few things from this. I like this uh, selecting a path and stuff like that instead of being forced into a constant railroad track. You know what I mean? Gameplay. But, again, the overall game is more focused for men. Again, it's a little strange that there's no, like, male characters in the game. And I think this would have been a cool opportunity to have, like, a few maybe male characters in the game. I know a lot of people would probably think that's a little weird. But, to me, I would find it kind of actually hilarious to see some guy running up to you screaming, I love you! Even then, the game doesn't even really, really point out that you're really a male in the game. It could have been easily for you to be a girl or female. I think they could have done a little bit more, I mean, gender, I mean, 
focus of between all both genders. I mean, I don't see the problem with it. I think they could have done a little more in that field as well. Again, this is not actually a sequel though. It's more as a side project VR kind of attempt. So I wouldn't call this a sequel. It's just slapped with a two on there. It should have just still stuck with the place uh, Gal Gun VR, but since it doesn't support VR, that's why they called it something different. Which again is a little I mean, misleading, but it's it's just things that name like I said it doesn't have the VR that it should you support as well as it it seems pretty much the same game but with less content. That's pretty much the best way to describe it. Should you get it? Yeah, I wouldn't mind I mean, if you can eventually get it at a later time. I wouldn't spend full price for it or anything like that. But it's still a worthy game to put in your collection. As well as it has some little funny parts and stuff like that. And it's still a fun game to play regardless. With this newer game mode where you can do defend as well as you have um, uh, find hidden items. As well as you got a love moment where you got to protect your, the love, your, your waifu if you want to use that word. It's got some newer things to it. It's not a bad experience, and I would say, yeah, it's if you get the time, you come across it, pick it up. But for the most part, it is a bit of a disappointment for I mean, somebody who's looking for a sequel into the game. So like always, I will leave links down in the description if you're interested in a copy. And I thank you all for watching, and hit that like subscribe button if you want to see more videos from me. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye!